Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Sunday. Coming at you with 2022 Panini Clearly Donruss football. Eight box, half case, pick your team number six, which filled before five. First to fill, first to break, as you know. There's the case right there. Big thanks to this group for getting into pick your team six on a Sunday. Thanks for spending a bit of your Sunday with me. I appreciate that. Thanks everyone for making this happen. And let's pop this case open and let's see, we'll roll the die and we'll see which uh, side we're gonna do. All right, so we got eight boxes over there and eight boxes over here. So we'll, we'll roll the die. And we'll go one, two, three for that eight right here and four, five, six for uh, that eight on the right side. And it's four, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna do that side and this side. We will save for pick your team five. Those are my fives right there. And that's actually sold out too. That's coming up a little bit later. We've got a few other breaks in between. All right. Good luck. So what are we looking for here? We're four packs per box, five cards per pack, one autograph, and eight rated rookie cards in there. Look for retro rated rookie tribute cards. Look for ultra rare interest, including downtown, gridiron marvels, night moves, and all new new clear. Hmm. All right. Has anyone graded these clear cards before? I feel like the surface defects would be easy to see. I think so. I think traditionally these have had some issues with surface grades, but Terry's saying they actually look good this year relative to recent years. Wow, Jason the one of one night moves. Do you know if they're gonna be doing any more of the Jaspies hit packs? Yes, we do those all the time, Victor. They, they mostly end up on Instagram Live, at Jaspies Rakes on Instagram Live. I don't know if they have hit packs today, but, but yeah, that's usually where they are. We've got the Diamond Dozen Baseball, though. That's kind of like a hit pack. We've got 14 out of 25 Tom Brady Champions. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, these, look, these do look cleaner this year on top. I feel like, I don't know if you can tell, but there's sort of a refractory finish to that. Did they ever have that? Did they have that before? I feel like no. I feel like they just have like that this usual finish, but maybe that's a new thing. We've got Justin Jefferson, 56 out of, uh, by the way, that's a uh, Patriots edition of Brady. That's gonna go to Amanda and the Pats. This to 75, Justin Jefferson is gonna be for the Vikings. That'll be for Douglas. Got a Brock Purdy rated rookie. And here comes McBride, 26 out of 99. Trey McBride, that's our auto. Rated rookie auto going to Tristan. There you go, Amanda, you're welcome. Thanks for getting in. Edward, the Niners, gets that rated rookie Brock Purdy. Purdy nice. You got your Offensive Rookie of the Year, Garrett Wilson. Got Joe Burrow and a Kenny Pickett rated rookie for the Steelers. Who's got the Steelers? Michael Gallucci and his Steelers.
All right, box one. Good start. Gilo saying, I drove by the draft side today. I think I saw the 40 yard dash spot. It's on a slight hill. So you're, you're thinking you can break that five seconds? Maybe, uh, maybe attract the, uh, the eyes of a, a scout or two. Maybe we'll see uh, Gilo in a, in a uh, oh, I don't know. What are we gonna see you in, Gilo? On a team? Is this like, uh, what's that one movie? With, with Wahlberg? With the Eagles? Victor would likely break on the 40 yard dash. Yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely me tearing my Achilles, right? Which would not be good for, for my, uh, my burgeoning golf game. There's DeAndre Swift, 153 out of 175, Lions. That'll be for Scott, last spot mojo. Do the, the Gabe's Chiefs, they do need a receiver with 4'9 speed. And here is Vellis Jones Jr. Uh, five out of 49, rated rookie auto for the Bears. McCoy with the Bears. Oh man, there's some, there was some football news that we didn't talk about today. What about all those dudes getting suspended for gambling? That's a weird relationship, right? The NFL is getting money from advertising for gambling. They want everyone to gamble, uh, but you can't, can't, can't gamble. Players can't gamble. It feels like a murky, murky sort of area. Four lines. This is according to ESPN. This is uh, on the 21st. This is a couple days ago. Four Lions players, including 2022 first-round pick Jameson Williams, were among the five players league-wide to be suspended for violating the NFL's gambling policy. Lions wide receiver Quintez Cephas and safety C.J. Moore have been suspended indefinitely for betting on NFL games, as was Washington Commanders defensive end Shaka Tony. They can apply for reinstatement after a year. Although Detroit announced that its two players have been released. Second-year receivers Williams and Stanley Berryhill are being suspended for six games, each for a mobile betting for mobile betting that occurred at Lions' Allen Park facility. These two did not bet on NFL games, the team said. Now, is that... The six games were for gambling on NFL property, is that why? And what... I mean, they're, they're making this hard to figure out, right? So Mike Tower is saying the six games was simply because Williams and Berryhill was using a mobile app on NFL proper or on team property. But the other two, Cephas and Moore, were suspended for a year because it was betting on the NFL. I kind of, if it's not, if it's not, if they're not betting on the NFL, I don't really mind. If you're betting on the NFL, that's a problem. It's 48 out of 75, Davis Mills. Can't do that. Davis Mills going to Amanda with the Texans. And there's Sam Howell for Victor, the commander. Still QB1 out there. Calvin Austin the third is your rated rookie auto. Why would they even do that on NFL property? I guess those wide receiver meetings were boring. Yeah, I don't know what the depths of that investigation was. Michael, you'll, you get the uh, Calvin Austin. Yeah, I don't know what the depth of the investigation was. Were there snitches? If there's one thing I've learned from, from, uh, from Dr. Dre and various other various others that snitches potentially will get some sort of stitch type situation. Let's see what the article says. Well, the Lions became aware of the NFL's investigation about a month ago 
as a result, blah, 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 blah. Separate from these punishments on the last staff members of various departments and missed last month, blah, 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 blah. Commanders made a statement, blah, blah, blah. We fully cooperated, et cetera, et cetera. NFL players and personnel cannot bet on NFL games with draft or any league-related activity under any circumstances. They cannot place bets while at a team facility or on team-related travel. Apologies from agents, this and that. Yeah, here, I'll drop the ESPN link here. I don't know if anyone else has additional information, but just skimming through, it doesn't seem like there's any additional information on the, uh, the nature of the of the investigation that the NFL was carrying out. I'm kind of curious. No, I get it. I get it. I get it, Mickey. Yeah, that's the principle of the matter. Although, I mean, it's collectively bargained, so, so, the, so the players knew what the punishment was going to be. There's Rashad White to 25. That's for the Buccaneers. That'll be for Jonathan. Oh, and a redemption coming up. But yeah, I wonder if it was as simple as they accidentally was on their stadium Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh, that would, that would suck. Just on stadium Wi-Fi and they're like, let's do a quick DraftKings or FanDuels thing. Whichever. Once one of those uh, companies sponsors us, we'll, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll say one or the other. DraftKings. FanDuel. We're open for uh, sponsorships. We got Quay Walker, clearly rated rookie autographs, orange. Quay Walker. And he is a linebacker for the Green Bay Packers. So that's going to go to Amanda and the Go Pack Go. And she, Gabe saying that the uh, the redemption should be clear too. Did he really? He pushed a trainer. Don't do that. Don't do that, Quay. There's a Hassan Haskins to 99. That'll be for Mickey and the Titans. And we've got a Donna McNabb autograph. Passing the torch auto. That's 23 out of 199. Eagles. Goes to Boyd and the Philadelphia Eagles. Bought the Eagles straight up. All these teams were bought straight up, actually. No fill. Another Sam Howell for Victor Z and the Commanders. Nice Victor, Victor Sullivan with the, maybe that maybe uh, that trainer was in his quay. He's here all week, folks. Victor Sullivan is here all week. Tip your bartenders. I don't remember, it was on Sunday Night Football? I do like a good, uh, good dad joke. All right. Speaking of Quay Watkins, here he is again. 12 out of 75. 
kind of like this sort of copperish sort of can you tell it oh is that orange i don't know what it's supposed to be but it looks nice That'll be for men and the Packers. Here's Malik Willis for Mickey and the Titans. Oh, sorry. Uh, I, I remember that question from earlier, right? So you looked it up. Can you guess who the oldest quarterback was to, to be drafted? I say... I say it was... Here's Sam Howell, rated rookie autograph this time, Victor. Commanders. Johnny Drama... Johnny's guessing uh, Danny Warfel. Brandon Whedon, maybe? Mav? Purdy, perhaps? Here's Brock Purdy right here. I don't think Brock... Uh, no, he, he must have been a four-year guy. I say it was Doug Flutie. Yeah, ever, I think. I say it's Doug Flutie, and uh, he was 28. That seems old. He was 24. Here's Kenny Pickett, rated rookie card for Michael and the Steelers. Oh, he was also the oldest to win a Heisman. Wasn't that... Wasn't that, uh... Doug Flutie? Did Jason White win a, win a Heisman, Terry? Delara was thinking it was Brandon Weeden. No one has it yet? Huh. Victor saying Chris Winky 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 at twenty eight. Victor's got it. Didn't I get the age? I think I got the age right, but then twenty eight felt like really old. What? How did? How did he get to twenty eight, winning Eisens? And was twenty nine when he was drafted. And we got a Malik Willis autograph. Rated rookie auto for Mickey and the Titans. There you go, Mickey. Yeah, how old was Whedon when he was when he was picked? There you go, Mickey. Another Kenny Pickett rated rookie card for Michael. There's a Steve Young in that old Donner's design. Wait, Whedon was 28 as well? How so how close uh You think uh you think Chris Winky just gets it just gets it by by months? Maybe. Last box. Whedon is the oldest first round pick ever. About 100 days apart, aren't right. An important 100 days in the purposes of this. Uh... Uh oh, Ter Terry's like, no Drake, London, or Ritters? Right. It's because Terry has ATL. I don't know. Play to the whistle, Terry. There's still a box left. Sometimes the hobby gods have a have a way of of giving up on a break too soon, making you making people look silly. Oh, maybe not. There's Garrett Wilson for the Jets, though. Jets are happy. Ryan Emerson. with your Offensive Rookie of the Year, 57 out of 99. It's for Ryan Emerson and the J-E-T-S Jets, Jets, Jets. Now what else do we have here? Anything fun? We got a My House, Justin Jefferson, Tolbert, Brees Hall, Carr, Mahomes. We got a Jerome Bettis, 
A Jerome Bettis, four out of five. A train whistle, ladies and gentlemen. Out of fives and under, get the world famous. That's going to go to Michael Gallucci and his Steelers. He's a Steelers guy. Michael? All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Nice. And we got a Carson Strong and another Brock Purdy rated rookie card. Should be more bus whistle. The bus. All right, there you go, Edward and the Niners. Some Brock Purdy's going your way as well. There you go, gang. Nice break. Nice half. Um, the other half will be in the store or not. Oh, not already sold out, actually. That's going to be breaking a little bit later tonight. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one.